So I've never actually played this game, but I understand that it <laughs> takes somewhere between four hours and the rest of your life. Me neither. That's also why I've never played it. <laughs> Yeah. There are so had... many other games you could play in that same time frame. Well, and we had a version of Risk that was like Risk 20, 30, whatever. That was like futuristic Risk. And not only did it have all the continents, but it had a couple of like underwater civilizations too to make the game even longer. <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah. Sometimes there would just be my brother's Risk game set up on the ping pong table for like days on end. I'm like, really? Are you gonna have your friend over so you can finish this? I'm like, oh, he came over yesterday. You're still playing? <laughs> so I can't see Risk without thinking of the entire ping pong table taken up by this game and just like, oh, you're still going. You're yeah. still going. For me, it just, it always looks like such an endeavor. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't, I don't have any of the bandwidth <laughs> The emotional, the time, <laughs> the brain cells. <laughs> like, my general brain cell level right now is, can we just play Sorry? Like, <laughs> I can shuffle the cards, I can get mad when someone sends me back to home, and I can pick up one of those cards and go, Sorry, and then do it myself. Like, that's where my brain cell level is. And also, I fucking love Sorry. <laughs> it's like part cheesy <laughs> for idiots. Right and now. I love it. <laughs> brain capacity-wise, I'm at... Solitaire and any video game where button mashing is an acceptable strategy. Hades! <laughs> and that's about it. You want me to solve a puzzle? I'm sorry. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Look, 11 days from the time of this recording, it will be our quarantine anniversary. We will have been in official quarantine for a calendar year. Woo. And an extra day because 2020 was... Oh no, that extra day didn't count. The leap year was before quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> the leap year ah! was like four years ago, to be fair. To anyway. be fair, there was one four and some change years ago, and that year sucked too! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi! Anyway, we're here to watch Ruby and cry about unrelated things. And we've already cried about unrelated things. So let's watch Ruby right after our sponsor read. Because we still have people who sponsor these videos because I guess they like our particular brand of causing problems on purpose. Hello, Fred. Hi, Fred. We love you. Yes. This video, this channel, this particular brand of causing problems on purpose. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Why does Fred put up with us? I don't know! People watch the videos and then order his cookies? As well as I guess, as you anyway. should, because they're really fucking good cookies. Anyway, do the thing anyway, so we can do the thing. That's how you know these live reads are always improvised. They're just like, yes! This! So yeah, this the, the, the video, the channel, this particular brand of Causing Problems on Purpose are all sponsored by Fred He Bakes. He does cookies. They're amazing, and every time I want to say, you guys have heard me say this before, but every time I get a comment like, I just found you guys! So hi to all the new people, this live read is for you, and for all the people who've been here forever and skipped the live read and don't hear cookies, this live read is for <laughs> you too, because cookies are amazing. <laughs> yes, skippers. <laughs> and that's how you know we're murderers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fred, he bakes. Cookies. Really good cookies. Brown sugar buddies. They are soft, they are chewy, they're kind of like a spice cookie and kind of like a maple cookie and exactly like amazingness. And you should totally get them. They're wonderful. I've had the fortune of having these cookies freshly baked once in my life and holy shit. But I've also had them not freshly baked and also holy shit. So you should get them. They're great. If you prefer fall flavors, even though we're out of fall, it's okay. I still miss fall flavors and I'm still ordering apple drinks at Starbucks. Getting ready to Bring forward. Ugh. Hey, as long as I can still order my apple drinks at Starbucks, I don't yeah, no, care. I that the fall flavors and like you know Trader Joe's tea and everything like that and all the Starbucks drinks like those what those are what sustain me as I wait for fall to return. <laughs> so if you wish to continue with your fall flavors, we have maple brown sugar buddies, which are all the goodness of brown sugar buddies, and also maple, which is a fall flavor. Don't at me. The entire state of Vermont at me. <laughs> and if you are not a spice cookie person, if you're like, but what about the chocolate, though? 
big chip buddies. They are chocolate chip cookies. They are huge. They are fluffy. They are jam-packed with chocolate. Super, super good, you guys. And if you're like me and you want to try a little bit of everything because this is how I do, then you can order sampler boxes. He's got a few different sampler boxes with different combinations and it's all good stuff. So you can order sampler box and then order more of your favorite, which if you're me is also everything. <laughs> yes, all good things. All of it is made fresh, never frozen, made to order in small batches and you cannot find it in stores. You can only find it at fredhebakes.com. That is three words, fredhebakes.com. And as always with good sponsorships, we have a coupon code for you. That coupon code is Kia Cookies, and it'll get you 20% off your order. Again, fredhebakes.com, coupon code Kia Cookies for 20% off your entire order. Treat yourself. You deserve it. Cookies for you. Also different types of cookies. <laughs> also cookies for me. For me. Sorry, also I cookies to for everyone. <laughs> you are an autopilot. We really <laughs> don't have brain cells. I went to the old one. I you did. Because I was going to say brownies for me, but they're not back yet. <laughs> we have all scaled down because damn of the it. pandemic, but we still got cookies and cookies are good. So cookies for you, damn it. Cookies for me, <laughs> damn it. And brown and cookies for everyone. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that, yes. Is that good enough? Yes. <laughs> All damn right. it, damn it, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gift that. I need it. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. Things I like. Gifts of my face. But that's right. Megan's face. My face is involved. <laughs> Please. Can we watch yes. this? Yes. And we're watching this on a different setup, so if we wind up with weird-ass technical issues, blame <laughs> Verve because they don't have the episode right now for some ungodly reason. And my iPad that we usually watch on is and like a decade old we, and can't download the Rooster Teeth. <laughs> and we can't wait anymore. If we wait we're not any waiting. Longer, People we're will gonna spoil get us. So it's a miracle we've come this far. <laughs> so on my laptop, here's open Ruby Volume Eight, Chapter Eleven. Risk. Alrighty. Click. Oh shit! It's on mute. It's not on mute. It was just very quiet. Was that? quiet or was that delay? It was just very quiet. That shouldn't have been. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. All right, cool, cool. We're trying this again. Click. Oh, it was delayed the first time. Oh, okay. There was something wrong with that. Anyway, <laughs> back to it. Where are my speakers on this thing? Are they here? Like, I think they're here. They're here. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is, uh... <laughs> you! I'm so mad. Okay, from now on, oh until God. he gets his act together, we can't call him Iron Daddy anymore. I was gonna say, no more Iron Daddy. We have disowned him. <laughs> oh, Jake's poor, solutions. Poor Winter. I'm legitimately doing janky solutions under our speakers so that it doesn't send the sound into the abyss and instead puts it back up. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> so Why do people think we're professionals? <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks that. Anyone thinks we're professionals. <laughs> Not in a while. It's been a while since anyone thought we were professionals. We do this shit for fun, ladies and gentlemen. Remember? We're ladies and gentlemen as well. <laughs> we are uh, very pleased that you enjoy. <laughs> the uh, I I remember interviewing someone for for Popcorn Talk way back in the day, and they referred to me as a journalist in the middle of the interview, and I was like, "Whomst me?" <laughs> I just felt so... <clears throat> oh, now we have... And there's the flying monkeys. I, I had, like, the biggest case of imposter syndrome at that point. Oh. Oh, it's the dad! Yep. You have one hour to respond. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. Oh, oh my and there's God. Them. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Well, that was fucked up. You monster. They couldn't going. look at him. So what? He's bluffing? With a whole city? It may finally push the kids to see reason. Who cares? Everyone. Good. Everyone cares a He's lot. He's joking. Maybe it's the right thing. He's I bluffing. Who cares? To drop the payload. Sir. 
What for? I believe I was clear in the broadcast. If they give me a reason, I'm going to remove Mantle from the equation. This is how we save Atlas. Lays the debate to rest. Oh, that... You call this saving Atlas? Here we Doing go. Salem's job for her? He's going to get shot. I believed in you. I thought we could work towards something better. But now you're just throwing it all away. You gotta... You gotta no, stop. Him. I'm going to do it for you. If this is what gets the children to cooperate, then it's worth it. I don't like this either. But the top priority is... Do you even believe what you're saying anymore? Marrow? Do any of you believe in You anything? can only use your semblance to get out of here right now. I used to wear this rank with pride. Now I see it for what it really is. A collar. Oh, buddy. Oh, she saved his ass. You want a collar? Fine. I'll throw this traitor in the brig where he belongs. Thank you, Winter! <laughs> she just saved his life. Yes, she just saved his life. Yeah. And I hope they run away now. <sighs> but did you see How? the look on Elm's face, okay. though? Ironwood wants Penny. Otherwise, Mantle is done for. So Hi, Santa. Can we stop him? Crow and Robin are still in his custody. And May said the Atlas security drones are watching the crater. So, they're mm. trapped, too. Her ears. And Salem isn't going to stay gone for much longer. So then, it's impossible. See? If Miss Hero, with all the answers, doesn't have an answer, then we have ours. Shut up! Okay, then why don't you just leave? Can we please just give each other a chance? Emerald's not with Salem anymore. And Ozpin is back. Oh. All of this doubt and worry and distrust, it isn't getting us anywhere. Then nothing has changed! We're in the exact same place we were yesterday! Arguing over what to do while the kingdom waits to die. I think she's earned a breakdown. Yeah. Honestly. You shouldn't have to earn a breakdown, but let's be real. She's earned one. Oh. Uh. Glad you're all right. Oh. I boost you, they won't go away. Ooh. Don't apologize. I got hurt doing what I always do. Just another ditzy move from Nora. Oh, Baby. That's not true. How would you know? Ugh. We were supposed to be a team, but that didn't matter to you. When things went wrong, you pushed us away. You shut people out so you don't have to feel things that are hard. You're right. I was gonna say, is she wrong? I should be apologizing to both of you. It's when a hard thing to Oscar do. And things got difficult. I said terrible things. I've been so angry at myself for not being as good as the Aesops, for what happened at Robin's rally, for losing the lamp. I thought if I just focused on working harder, getting stronger, that we, I, wouldn't fail. But my biggest failing was as a teammate and as a partner. Mm. Kids! No, not right now. Not, not, the, not, a, good not the right time. <laughs> uh, oh, water under the bridge, Leave. <laughs> That is a man who gets it! And he also said, kiss! Oh wait, I gotta go! I mean, why didn't you say anything? So we failed as a team, but we succeed as a team too! I was the one holding us back. Not John, not you, me. Well, you're wrong. Okay, that's not All really I true do is make dumb jokes and smash things with a hammer. Oh, that's sweetie. Much. 
That's not true. Y'all. You put everything you have into what you do. You support everyone around you. You help without worrying about how it might hurt. And that's what I love about... That's why I... I love you. When my mom ran from the Grim and left me behind, you found me. That's what happened? Shit! Ren and Nora. But I realized on this mission apart, I don't know who just Nora is. And if I'm ever going to find out, then I have to do it alone. <sighs> Because I've always loved you, Lyren. And that pretty head on your shoulder seems like it's doing a lot better. But I still gotta get mine sorted out before I can be the partner you need. Is that... okay? Oh, that's more than okay, sweetie. That's wonderful. I'm gonna cry. I am crying. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. See, it's the forehead touches. They're so good. Yeah, there's hallway cameras on a loop. Like in speed. <laughs> the bus that couldn't slow down. Do it. Not if we stop him first. Oh, you're still on the murder bent. Yeah. Damn it, Crow. Really hardcore. I mean, at this point, can't blame him. Nope. Yikes. The reason he's on the bent? Not Ironwood's fault. Things happening right now? There might be a better way. I'm telling you, there isn't. Well, but this hear her isn't out. just about you. It's about everyone. I'm going straight up to the Academy, and I am ending this. Or we fail, and people get killed. He deserves this! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Also, <sighs> it's not about what he deserves, it's about saving people. Listen, I get it. He's gone. You are hurting. <laughs> that would have been really funny. For a long time. But let's stop pretending that what you're trying to do here is for anyone but yourself. Hey, yeah, girl, I've missed you. There was a lot of things. You respected him, but I gotta tell you, I think you're the better huntsman. Not because you were the one who walked away, but because you were the one who was fighting for what was right. Don't go telling me that's changed. Way to go. Robin, love her. Oh shit, elevator. <laughs> how, much, how much you want to bet that was winter and Mary? Oh, absolutely. Making their escape. <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking you know, fast. You want to look at the fast. skeleton underneath? It <laughs> like we were nothing. Not really. But Blake said you and Chinese managed to take it down. Still having to one up your big sis, huh? Oh. Did she tell you what it was? Underneath. Yeah. It was people. You know what that means then. I wouldn't worry about that. That's what happened to mom. Well, there we go. Someone said it. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I saw its eyes. I knew. Salem used to kill people with silver eyes, like Maria. But she's always wanted me alive. Why would that change unless when she met mom, she learned she could do something new? Ruby. We shouldn't lie to ourselves. I wasted our time getting Amity up thinking help would come, but it didn't. Would be really nice if it did, though. I mean, they can't fucking teleport, I but... I being childish. You were being optimistic. Look, blind optimism isn't great, 
But no optimism means we've already lost. We need hope. We need to take risks. But mine didn't work. So it's a risk. It's still got a warning out. Ruby, they're not called sure things. They're called risks. And in case you didn't notice, my plan for Mantle didn't work either. But we got Oscar back. And did a lot more that was never in the plan. Mom took a risk the day she left. Oh. And I don't think... I don't think it went the way she wanted it to. But she's still my hero. Oh. Oh. Oh, now what? Oh, oh no! Yeah. Motherfucker. Penny, please! I, I must open the vault! Uh, I, I do not want... Uh, Ruby, stop me! Penny! Oh, bad. I must open the vault and self-terminate. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. I mean, we already knew. I got her. What do we do? Oh, this is very bad. I must open the vault and self-terminate. Do something. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, hey, that's that'll help. Yeah, Please. that's good. No. Whoa! Kill me. And I can make sure the power goes to you. Please. Oh. Wow! Please! I cannot fight it! Yes, you can! It's just a part of you, remember? If you were only a machine, you never could have fought back for this long. She's right. She's right! John! Mr. Aura! There's a oh, thought. that's a thought. That's a much better thought. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Holy shit! Oh, that was terrifying. This is a temporary solution <laughs> to what I sincerely hope is not a permanent problem, but it is temporary. Someone call Pietro and get some malware <laughs> software up in here. I stopped the virus. Nope. No. Still there. But you've got an aura, Penny. A soul. That's who you are. She's a real a girl. Friend, not a machine. Aww. Yep. I was gonna say, that, that means Penny's only gonna last as long as Jean what? does. Twice is all of us. <laughs> Just... By the way, I highly doubt you're in the same place you started. I mean, yeah. You, you guys have been getting your asses kicked. <laughs> Some of that my fault but like you're at war you're gonna take hits look i'm just going to be super pissed if you all finally decide to give up the moment i switch sides <laughs> <laughs> i love her switch sides huh oh is it official Aww. now <laughs> i was gonna say yay had such a big whatever. frowny face <laughs> whatever soon soon dairy dairy Aww. Who could say no to that face? You all wouldn't mind. I really think Ozpen would like to say something. Sure. Hold on. Huddle. <laughs> he can have the floor. Apologies, please. I was Sorry. recently reminded of an old fairy tale. Not an apology. <laughs> the consequences of a choice. To a magical place. But... Having never learned from her initial failure, she only succeeds in spreading it. I failed all. I can't wait for that fairy tale series. I should have trusted you with the truth. And should never have run the day you discovered it. It was rough. But I think after everything that's happened here, we understand. Trust is... Trust is a risk. Yeah. 
<laughs> sometimes it pays off. Sometimes Ironwood threatens to blow up a city. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope it's a risk you can take with <clears throat> me again. Mm. Probationary. Mm. I can still feel it fighting me. I can't just keep amping her forever. And we can't keep Ironwood waiting. Ah, guys, she has to go to the vault. But then she will die. Idea? Come on, we'll put it together. Actually a risk we haven't considered. Whoa! <laughs> How much time is left? She'll do it. Okay. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Yet another show down at the vault. This is how we do things. <laughs> this is how we do it. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I was going to say, can we pack like three separate times the audience cries into this episode? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Shit. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> then yeah, it looks like the lightning scars are permanent. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Actions have consequences. This was such a good the you know, scars it's... mean you lived. <laughs> the um I know that like exposition heavy episodes in anime can be hit or miss, but I never have a problem with them in Ruby. Yeah, they're always done so well. Yeah. And again, it's like, here, here, would you, would you like some sad? Here's some just, sad. Here's the feet. That's what happened to mom. Hearing those words said out loud. You and know, just like, ah! I have been speculating for, for a long yeah. time what happened to Summer. And then as soon as the Hound was introduced, so many fans like latched onto that idea. It's just, it's so bizarre hearing it out loud in the context of the show. I really appreciate characters in the show also being able to, you know, put two and two together two with the together. information they have and make four. Like, I really appreciate that, that it's not this whole what thing. Yeah. It's like, oh no, the second we saw it, I knew. Like, I knew that was a possibility. I knew that Salem, would, like, it's... I appreciate that we have characters where they're intelligent enough to be able to do this, and then they react appropriately to their characters. Yeah. Like, I wasn't kidding about Ruby being due for a breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is. Ironwood just broke extremely bad on his <laughs> You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Winter <laughs> saved Marrow's oh. life. Full stop. Like, holy shit, had she not done that? We, we we made jokes last season about him potentially getting old yellered. That was about to happen. Yeah. That was about no. to happen. Winter saw it Winter coming and yeah. acted accordingly. Yeah. And you know what? She's the only one who did. Yep. Whew. Everybody else like Harriet just tried to stood give, there. Like, Harriet definitely did the, you know, shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. But I think that was more of an anger thing. But yeah. this was very much a seeing what's coming down the line and acting. Oh to yeah, make no. Sure it did. I'll throw this traitor in the brig was we definitely an act. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a hundred percent. Like, like, get up, get up, get up. Get up. <laughs> like, oh. you know that the only reason that you're alive is because I did this. Like, and I am, you know, I am convinced that they were the ones in the elevator when uh, Crow and Robin. Oh, were absolutely. Up. <laughs> and you know, we talked on on the podcast talking about the uh, last week's episode. We talked about how Marrow probably going to get shaken. Harriet might, but we're not sure about Elm and Vine. The look on Elm's face when all of that went down, and I think that was when she realized Ironwood was about to shoot him. Like, yeah. I think they all realized, oh, fuck. But no, he was going to kill one of us. Just seeing the um, spectrum of reactions. Yeah. Of, of course he's bluffing, to... Well, maybe he has a point to, I don't care. Like, and I don't like <laughs> and it he's either. he's crazy. It's like, I don't like it either, but it's necessary. Versus, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. Like, 
I I thought that Elm was gonna be the one where it's like, yeah, now we'll never change her. I know I'm looking at Vine like, what the fuck, Zenyatta? I'm like, you are way too chill <laughs> with everything that's going on right now. So here's the thing. The other name for Zenyatta, if you get a, per a really good DPS one, is Murderbot. <laughs> So, <laughs> Zenyatta, if you are aggressive, is a third DPS, not just a healer. So, I've been sitting here cracking jokes about him being Zenyatta, and they're like, oh shit, <laughs> what kind of Zenyatta do we have? Oh, the, the, the Jonak kind, where it's the third DPS, and they all perform the DPS? I cool, am cool, 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 cool. so happy, just speaking of murder bots, I am so happy that they found a temporary solution to the malware problem. Like, also, I love that your segue to Penny was speaking of murder bots. <laughs> I mean, come Thank on! Yes, and I appreciate the immediate pointing out of it is a temporary solution. We can't do this forever. Yep. We have to, like, Jean has to sleep sometime. <laughs> they all do at some point, I guess. Ironwood thinks he doesn't, which is like, give him a Snickers and a nap. <laughs> Be he better. makes this declaration about how he's going to destroy Mantle if he doesn't get what he wants. And then the Aesops just walk up to him. Sir, please, here. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Give the man a he Snickers gets, and a nap and it'll be better after that. <laughs> he gets a Snickers and he's not. like, oh no, I way overreacted. Like, oh, oh dear. Oh I just, no. I just, <laughs> I just threatened genocide. Woo! Hangry hot iron. What? He's a handful. Yikes! Oh, man. And I mean, we know at this point his semblance is just full steam ahead, and that is an problem. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The biggest, the biggest problem. <gasps> yeah. James! <laughs> yikes. Just, just, yikes. But, um, uh, Winter and Marrow. Please abscond. <laughs> Please are Also, away. this but. was Winter, get, I think, not necessarily getting back into Ironwood's good graces, but doing the whole, like, I am still a loyal soldier and I will do this for you. Know, like you said, it's totally an act. And very much a, oh, I'll take care of this problem so you don't have to, sir. And I honestly have no idea the state that Ironwood's in, whether he cottoned on to the fact that she did that to save Marrow's life. Like... 50-50, because usually Ironwood is smart enough to pick up on that. But he is in such a state right now yeah. that, honestly, could go either way. I don't know. I don't know. again, I appreciate that this show, characters get information and then react in a character-relevant way, not just with the current arc of their character, but also the point in time with all of the factors around them considered. Like, this yeah. show is incredibly good at that. Why Ruby, our, our precious cinnamon roll, who always sees the silver lining, who always sees the glasses half full, it's why in this moment she's allowed to like throw her hands down on the table and then run out in frustration. Because, um, yeah, she's she's our looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you, yes, <laughs> but the, we, again, this has been the longest, like, 48, 72 hours of anyone's life right now. <laughs> Nobody has slept, or if they have, they haven't slept all that much. People are injured. People are dead. Yeah, you people are kidnapped. Did. Genocide was just threatened. And she just got this, you only that got a probably nap. <laughs> happened to mom. My mom probably suffered a fate worse than death at the hands of Little Miss Exploding Satan. So, no, no. Yeah. Like, all of these things, just because she's usually our optimist, doesn't mean that she hasn't been utterly wrecked by everything that's happened within not even the past 72 hours, the past, like, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, and it just keeps getting worse! Oh, yeah! Boy. So, this was appropriate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not to mention, what a nice moment, too. We start off this volume, we start off this volume with the two of them disagreeing, uh, and how that uh, affected all of their decisions moving forward. They were both successful in some regards, but also failed in other regards, and so I won't say that it's a wash, but that... Each scenario did not turn out quite like they were hoping it would, or even anticipating that it would. Yeah. Uh, which, BTW, if this season doesn't end with at least someone coming to help, I will call shenanigans. Because <laughs> we did get the message out, and we did, yeah. like, 
we didn't get the whole thing, but we got the message out. People know that it's Salem. Like, and they know so Ironwood is off his rocker now. <laughs> and I mean, I know travel takes time. It takes so much time. Yeah. So it's entirely oh, no, it possible. it took forever for our team to get to Atlas. So it's entirely possible that no one will be able to come to help in that amount of time. It's entirely possible that they'll show well, up just in time to be also, a relief effort. Who's in the position to help right now? Because... Uh, Everybody the one kingdom we haven't hit up yet is pretty far away. Yeah. Because, um, like, the only headmist that's still standing besides Ironwood, um, and Gren Glinda's still around. But, like, um, Glinda's got her hands full. Yeah. Vale is still very much a work in progress. <laughs> um, Haven in, you know, Mistral's kind of left. I don't want to say they're they're helpless, but they were left directionless after Leo died. Who knows what's going on there right now? Yeah, who knows what the power structure is, who stepped in? Because again, most if not all of the huntsmen there were also wiped out. Yeah. And um, yeah, and there were probably if, other teachers that have stepped up. Yeah, like, probably. Who even know? If, they're, if they're alive, who even knows, man? But, and um, a lot of... Uh, obviously, a lot of kids from Vale went to to Vacuo in the academy there. And if you've read the if you read the most recent book that came out before the dawn, you know that that school is also dealing with stuff right now and kind of has their hands full a little bit. Not to the and degree that is where the world's worst road trip is going right now. Not to the degree where it fell, um, like Beacon did. But, like, stuff's happening! They're very busy! <laughs> um, Read the books, they're really good. But, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, Read anybody. the books, they're really good. But, um, they're but yeah, really good. stuff's happening! They're dealing with their own issues. <laughs> and also, really good teen coffee content. <laughs> Coco is the only non-disaster lesbian in this series, and I love her. Uh, the second book has goods, I mean, um, they're in both of them, but the second book in particular has good su Team Sun content as well. Um, they team don't, Hot and Useless. <laughs> they don't get um, any POV chapters in the first book, but they do in the second. So if you're interested, go check those out. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, this... Point being, they've got oh, their hands damn. full. Yeah. But that headmaster is also not one to <clears throat> run away from a fight. If he felt like Ironwood needed to be punched in the face... He would punch Ironwood in the face. Or send someone to do it, I think. Like, oh, he'd want to do it himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, no, the school will be okay with all y'all. Um, I need to go cause problems on purpose. <laughs> or I guess for that it would be solve problems on purpose. <laughs> Potentially cause problems on accident, but definitely solve problems on purpose. Because oh, currently the he, problem is Ironwood. I mean... He's the type of person that fights people for funsies. So that's a good time. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> so he would definitely want to. So this is, with oh, we're gonna fight for realsies, <laughs> bitchin'. Uh, <laughs> cool. Let's do this thing. <laughs> so yeah, um, Ironwood though, James. But yeah, we, oh, we, you're killing me. I think we've talked about the Aesops about as much as we possibly can yeah. for this one. Because yeah, long story short. Winter saved Marrow's ass. And I think Vine is the only one still on board for this 100%. Harriet's just big mad. She just wants she just wants to punch Crow, I think, and let her <laughs> feelings yeah. out that way. And I think Elm is shaken because I'm pretty sure Elm cottoned on to Marrow nearly died right there and Winter saved him. Yeah. Elm is smart. Yeah. Like, I know no. she's the big bruiser type, but we have a lot of smart big I bruiser think... types in this show, and I appreciate that. I think all the Aesops know exactly what just happened. It's just the degree to which they care. Um, and, and again, I legitimately don't know if Ironwood knows what just happened. Just because of the state he's in. He might not have picked up on it. Who, who can say? Um, go either way. And no, I'm not saying Ironwood's an idiot. He's not. He's just making really bad life decisions right now. So many bad decisions. He's extremely hecked up. And again, that semblance that keeps him continually going forward and mono-focused. So, problem. Ever so slightly. So, yeah. Again, it, it's in terms of does he understand what just happened there? Could go either way. 
could go either way, and I would believe it either way. Yeah. And I think, again, more strength to Ruby's writing. Just, again, we, we've talked about character, not only their arc, but also the situation and recent events, and yeah, I would believe either one for Ironwood, and that's yeah. just... It's just the writing is so good. It's very guys. good. It's so good. It's very good. Uh, Can we deserves... talk about shipping? Yes. Oh Can my we gosh. talk about Ren and Nora? Can we talk about leaving me here to just oh. collapse in a heap on the floor, sobbing my face off? Can we talk about that for a little bit? Because he's God I damn love you! And ah. she said it back! And even though there's not... She's just like, I've always loved you. I'm like, yes! And look, here's the thing. I... I am 100% okay with two characters saying, I love you, but not right now. You know? Yeah. Like, not, and not that I, like, I, I love you, but I don't like you right now. That's not what I mean. Of like, I love you, obviously, and nothing will change that, but I got some work to do yeah. on me, and I think that's great. Now this, that's such an incredibly nuanced, responsible take on a relationship. Yeah. That she knows that about herself, and respects herself and him enough to say, hey, yes, this absolutely, but not yet. Because I know how my end of things looks, and my end of things needs to look better before I can really complete this. I gotta work some shit out before um, before I'm a part of a unit. Yeah. <laughs> you know that some that sort of thing. And Ren definitely already had his work some shit out moment, yeah. going, oh, oh, okay. And you know what? What I he apologized. Yes, that was so fucking yes. nice. Yes. Because um, so rarely, like, in, 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 like, drama stuff focused on, like, where, like, the key demographic is, like, teenagers. There's so much contrived drama where people either don't apologize for shit or, like, they apologize when they shouldn't. Yeah. Like, uh, like the, the wrong person in the apologizing. is apologizing. And, and the narrative treats it like that's good. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. no, no. And so this... This was fantastic. I loved, I loved all the beats that it hit. It it came together very nicely, and the animated expressions and the camera angles just mwah, absolutely brilliant. Oh, so, so good. good, so 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 good. I also just want to throw this on there. Um, whoever said being in love means never having to say you're sorry is a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Where if you want that? comfort, I don't know. If you want a relationship to work, you can't just assume that you're on the same wavelength. You have to communicate a lot. And so I really appreciate for this, like, yeah, they know each other really well. They've known each other for a long ass time, but they still have to sit down and use their words, which it's not just this, oh, we understand each other. It's fine. No apologies needed. We're good. No, 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 none of that shit. Doesn't matter that they've known each other for what, a decade at this point? Doesn't matter. You still have to sit down and say, I feel this. I experienced this. I'm sorry. I know that I hurt you. I was wrong. You gotta do that. It's the foundation of any relationship. You have to use your words to make it work and you have to mean it. <laughs> I really, really love that Ruby shows all these different relationships and shows, yes, you can have problems and you can still love this person and you need to apologize and you need to communicate and that we got a really good example of a really bad relationship <laughs> with Adam. Yeah. And I know I'm bringing that back around, Mr. Goodbye Earl over here, but, and about 15 people unfollow me. I'm like, yeah, bye. Um, if you think Adam was right, get out. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very good depiction of an abusive relationship. And the narrative makes it very, very clear that it wasn't Blake's fault that it was an abusive relationship, that getting out was the right thing to do, and that getting out is incredibly difficult, even in the best of circumstances. Yeah. Like, I appreciate that the narrative does not shy away from that. And it shows that while Adam might have had some good ideas in terms of you know, just, uh, how do I say this, earlier on, fighting for faunus rights, etc. Of like, course. Was there some good intention there at the beginning? Oh yeah, we saw past Adam, we saw a few other things. We saw that short with, uh, where we got to see Sienna Khan for like 35 for seconds second. before she got McFucking murdered. Yeah, like, there was something there to start, and it can show cool motive still murder. 
Oh, it you can know, show that you can walk into this with good intentions and that those can be warped. It can show that, yes, he came from a very terrible background. He was abused. He was potentially enslaved. Like, that was a brand. No, he was clearly the victim of abuse who then in turn became an abuser. Yes, showing that that is not a good way to do things. That just, just, no. So I appreciate that they had this complicated character and showed, yeah, he has a tragic backstory, yes, he's been abused, but that doesn't excuse his behavior. And then showing that the person who is then the victim of his behavior, having to recover, having to get out, having to deal with all of that. Like, I am just... Man, all of that was introduced when this was still billed as a kid's show? <laughs> So the fact that I mean, we have still, that, it's and that still it was a family show, family show, <laughs> genocide, family show, <laughs> human experimentation, family show. <laughs> Admittedly, a whole bunch of other shows have also dealt with this and been aimed at a younger demographic. So you know, I would not show this to my five-year-old, but maybe my twelve-year-old could hack it, depending on the twelve-year-old. I'm not like I would watch it with them. When I, I would not let them watch it alone. When I when I eventually find the right person and decide to settle down and uh, have a family and everything like that, I'm gonna have assuming I find the right person, I'm gonna have no idea what age to show my kids anything <laughs> because they could be three and I'll be like, let's watch mom's favorite movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas, That's and right. scar my babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, the skeleton man's nice! Well, okay, no, he's very selfish, but it's fun! See, he's singing a song, why are you crying? This is why, you know, for kids is one of my just, you know, for kids and cool motives, still murder. There's a reason I keep coming back to them, they're just perfect for this. Anyway, yeah, I appreciate that Ruby has been really, really good at very different types of relationships and yeah. approaching them and not necessarily saying, like, <laughs> I just, I love how they did it. I love how no, they executed so the abusive relationship and then showed the recovery and then showed that things were wrong, all that. I love that we get to see loving married couples. I yeah. love that we get to see a widower and a single father continuing on, continuing on, you yeah. know, raising his kids and doing his best. Like, I, and I, I love all of it. And I love that we get to see two very different relationships developing here and different people, different execution. By that you mean Ren and Nora and Blake oh, and Yang. Yang. Yes. yes. I mean, even Rose Garden is kind of its own thing, but that has its whole other... I mean, they 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 both even did the head... The yes! Like, head, forehead touch I, I thing. love the forehead touch. It's so good. It's intimate without being necessarily overly romantic. And it's just like... Yes. The, uh, it, <laughs> anyway, and for, for me too, I like, especially when it comes to like, Ooh, will they, won't they? I really do like in fiction where two characters clearly love each other and they get to the point where they can tell each other, but it's not the right time for them to get together either because of personal reasons or because of external reasons. But the narrative from that point, like, when that happens, their narrative can either treat it like, oh, it's so tragic, but they can't be together because of this thing right now. I don't like that. But I do like it when the narrative treats it, like, very realistically of, like, we love each other, I've got some shit to work out, or there are other things going on Yeah, right like, now. this is not a good time. <laughs> I love you. We'll circle back. <laughs> And, and then the other person going like, I love you too, we'll, we'll circle, circle back. back, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sort of like, we need to survive all of this and do some figuring out. And it's then. a date. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I we're just, just going to put a pin in that and it's a good pin, but still, the fact that, again, the fact that they both recognize we'll like, okay, but we have priorities, <laughs> like they're people in a relationship, they're not a relationship <laughs> that has, you know, maybe some people in it. It's the people <laughs> first, and also the relationship is great. Yeah, it's gonna, look, making ourselves Facebook official is not important right now because lots of other stuff is <laughs> happening. And so that's, I just, I like that the narrative isn't treating it like this big, awful thing that she said, I got some stuff to work out. Yeah. Um, I, I really like 
this, I really like this take on it is all. Yeah, it's fucking valid. And I mean, real life, it's valid to be like, I am not in a good place to have a relationship right now. And I have a little bit of work to do, you know, me and my therapist. And that's fine. Yeah, that is fine. <laughs> Therapy good, actually. <laughs> Um, I say this as someone who's been in therapy for a year, two, two years. Oh my god, it's been two years. Yeah, so therapy good, actually. Highly recommended. Again, it's healthy. <laughs> the, um, it's a doctor there for are, your soul. <laughs> there are certainly some characters here who could benefit from it. I'm just but we're done talking. therapy and remnant and what semblances work, work really well for that. Anyway, right. Rublo does relationships really, really well. Send to it. Katie, Katie, what, Katie, what, Katie, what? Katie, Katie, Katie. Quit roboting and tell me. <laughs> you know how we have a, a spin off AU fiction podcast where we took Welcome to Vale and, and applied, or we took Welcome to Night Vale and we applied it to Vale? Oh, God. Yes. What if now what? We did the same thing with the Bright Sessions. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Here's the thing about the no. break sessions. I'm pretty sure they have an actual licensed therapist on board oh, they doing do. some of your writing. <laughs> oh goodness, no. I'm not saying I do it. I'm oh, no. saying someone, someone should. Someone should. <laughs> not us. Someone should. Let me just absorb that content. <laughs> also listen to the bright sessions. It's really good. And also, also listen, listen to, to Welcome to Veil. Vale. It's really good. <laughs> People out here just taking notes. Read the books, listen All to right. Bright Sessions, listen to Welcome to Vale. That's my entertainment for the week. All right, that's my uh, shameless plug for the week. Oh Shall we God. go to the rest of our shameless plugs, or is there more you want to touch on before we wrap up? I'm sure there's other things we could talk about, but I think we've hit them all in passing or when we watch them. Um, Emerald for fucking MVP. Oh, it's so nice I to love have her. her actually say, oh, look, you guys can't go giving up as soon as I switch sides. <laughs> You're not allowed to die. I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, switch sides. Oh, switch sides, huh? Aw. Uh, I wonder. The one thing that did get made Facebook official this episode. <laughs> switch <laughs> Um, it's gonna be interesting though because obviously it looks like Team Ruby they've got a plan over at the vault um, for heading that way and Cinder, Neo, and Watts are going to be heading that way too. We're just gonna have another hoedown, showdown, throwdown yeah. at the vault! I'm just wondering. And we're gonna you know, eat more people off the edge because that's what you do when you have showdowns at the vault! What's Emerald gonna do when Cinder shows up? Oh, that's a very good point. I had not considered that point. Oh. Yeah, because they're, they're both heading to the same place, and now Emerald has officially switched sides. Or at least she's claiming to have officially switched sides. Which I believe her when she says it. Like, I think she's in it to win it, and I think she I thinks she's in it to win it. Like, I truly think that she believes in, yes, I want to be here, I want to be with you guys, this is what I think. But I also think that that is subject to waiver depending on her loyalty to Cinder, because she hasn't had to face Cinder yet after this revelation, and it's been... She switched sides an hour ago? Can I Maybe. make a prediction? Please do. I think, in Emerald's mind, I think she's genuine when she says, I switched sides. Yes. Um, because the thing that she knows that Cinder doesn't is Salem's plan to not remake the world, but destroy, destroy it. it. Yeah. Um, because that was verified to her when they when Oscar used the password that means that everything that he was saying yeah. was in fact true I mean crazy um, Uncle Tyrion also verified it but <laughs> yes. crazy Uncle Tyrion is crazy, crazy Uncle, Tyrion. Uncle Tyrion says a lot of things uh, <laughs> only, only some of which are probably trustworthy uh, <laughs> He says a lot of you terrifying, always, terrifying things. You can always trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest ones you gotta watch out for. No, um... You never know when they'll do something stupid. Stares <laughs> at Ironwood. But the, um... But I think... So, uh, Emerald <clears throat> has switched sides, and I think she's genuine when she says that. I think, in her mind, what she needs to do is tell Cinder the truth. And, well... Right now, she doesn't know where Cinder is, so she has no idea that Cinder's planning on making her way to the vault. Um, but I think 
if they happen to end up at the same place, she's going to try to plead with Cinder to come with them or, or at the very least, not go back to Salem because ultimately what Salem wants to do is destroy the world rather than give all of her peons the power that she promised them. And it's going to be, it, it literally, in my mind, is a coin toss about whether or not Cinder is going to take her word for it and be like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to follow Salem anymore. Or if she's going to be like, no, I don't believe you. You're, you've clearly betrayed me. You are now my enemy. I count you among my list of enemies and that's going to break Emerald's heart. I am legitimately wondering what Cinder knows and what Watts knows. Does Watts know that the goal here is apocalypse? I don't think he does. He doesn't seem the type to me to want to rule over the ashes, as it were. <laughs> he wouldn't even be alive for that. But it, it, he seems to be the type where I want my vengeance, but I also want power. I want to continue to be me. I want to keep doing this shit. Like, yeah, again, I really do think part of the making Penny self-destruct is him just being petty as fuck. Yeah, about, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that, to me, does not seem like the type of person who would be down for the apocalypse plan. Because the way she sold it to Hazel, who would also not be down for the apocalypse plan, is remaking society, no more academies. Yeah. So I think she probably offered him some form of power or some form of, again, societal probably. remake, but left out the uh, really big, also, we're going to destroy the fucking world so you won't be there to see it, and she, neither will I, and it'll be great. She probably pitched it to Watts as, we're going to um, dismantle the institutions that kept you from flourishing and pursuing the scientific endeavors that you wanted to pursue. Dismantle. And so... <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, she probably did that. Um, but yeah, and so he probably sees it as like, oh, cool, like, I'll be able to do all the science stuff that I want to do. I um, really do think the only person who got the full apocalypse package was Tyrion, <laughs> because Tyrion thinks she's a goddess and can do no wrong and is totally down um, for the full apocalypse so yeah, package. I guess it's, it's just a matter of if the two of them find out the truth, are they going to care? Are they going to believe it? Uh, yeah, and are after they, that, are they going to believe are it? Are they going to Are care? they going to care? And with Cinder, it literally is a coin toss in my mind because she could be like, good. <laughs> you know, if that's the case, good. As long as I get the power that I'm seeking along the way, then good. Or I will surpass Salem and I will shape the world in my image or whatever. I don't know, man. Um, I would watch... The Cinder Watts buddy criminal show. That except they're not buddies, they hate each they other. They hate each other. <laughs> I um, would watch that. That would be funny as hell. With with occasional featured guest star Neo. It's depending also, on what she thinks. Also, I would like to remind everyone that Pietro and Maria are out of the equation, and we saw Maria go toe to toe with Neo. No fucking problem. But she's not gonna be there. Which means that Neo once again goes way back up as a threat in our <laughs> estimate because we know that going toe-to-toe -to -toe to ne with Neo is incredibly difficult I'm, and we just know that Maria is fucking amazing. I'm waiting for the Yang-Neo rematch. Honestly. Honestly, because she Neo's going to make a beeline for Ruby and Yang absolutely would step in and be like, oh no, girl, mm -mm. rematch time. Because, um, yeah, the last time they fought... uh. Mom Neo had to save her. Well, yeah, and Neo, like, totally destroyed Yang. Um, yeah. And she was toying with her. Mm -hmm. um, but Yang's... That was season two. Yang's gone through a lot since then, and I, I legitimately think it would be a much more even match if not Yang would be able to find a way to uh, get the upper hand. And we also have, again, we have <sighs> Emerald. Yeah. And that is such a wild card in this. So, yeah, I, yeah, we're at a point where they could do almost anything with this setup, and I'd sit here and go, yeah, that tracks. Yeah, that's well, good. There's so many options available, and yeah. all of them are plausible, in-character, interesting. My only sadness about this is the Huntresses well, are stuck down there, and we're not getting anything else with them right now. Well, right now. Yeah. We'll, we'll We've also see. got a whole ass other volume to go, <laughs> so I assume that Mantle's not going to be destroyed because we have these named characters yeah. down there. 
but well and you know we also have a we have a few more elements in play obviously we have willow the payload and of Damocles. <laughs> we've got we've got willow and whitley who, that's true uh even though they like they've been through some stuff obviously they also have a ton of resources at their disposal um which they could use in the, and again in, admin access via exactly. dad's computer um and so there's 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 a lot of stuff that could we've got that and like talking about whether or not Cinder and Watts end up believing the claim that like no Salem just wants to destroy everything it might be irrelevant as to whether or not they end up believing that claim because they could both end up dead in this scenario <laughs> oh could you yeah. imagine if Cinder died and her maiden powers went to either Emerald or one of the one of the members of Team Ruby. I would laugh my face off if they went to Ruby because who's Cinder thinking about in her last moments? Exactly. Revenge. Mm. I mean, or fear it's a, because a fear. of the the silver grim eyes, yeah. silver eye thing. It's it's a toss up, but I think that's something that like once we found out how maiden powers were passed and that Cinder has like, like that how long line. It's like yeah, it's one of those just like mark in time. How just long? Mark in time. Yeah. Like, I feel like we're not going to be removing Cinder from the equation for a while. I would not be surprised if Watts bit it, because God bless him, Mr. I don't need to unlock my semblance because I'm smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, I you're taking a I, circuit board to a knife I also, fight. <laughs> I also don't think it is going to be time to, for either of those characters to die, because we just got Cinder's backstory, and Watts just avoided death in the previous episode. <laughs> oh, honestly, I think that would be why it would be a great time for him to die. Because <laughs> again, that would be hilarious. This, he's, he's bringing a circuit board to a knife gun fight. And the circuit board is not also a gun. <laughs> yes, I know he has a gun, etc., etc. He doesn't have it on him. <laughs> and again, he's got an aura, but no semblance. Yeah. So this guy, he's very smart, but he also probably is not armed, might be armed with a gun that, you know, isn't his, and it's not going to be a whole lot of use in the hoedown, showdown, throwdown that this is most likely going to be. So, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> so no, this, no. This was episode 11? Yeet. We got three more. We got three more. We got three more. Oh, Yeah, we boy. have, I'm going to say probably 45, 50 minutes worth of content between those three. People are like, well, they're like 19 and 20 minute episodes. And I'm like, mmm. I don't trust season finale. I also still, um, not that I'm rooting for it to happen or that I, I'm pinning this down as an exact prediction or anything like that, but I'm saying it's also possible that we get another maiden popping up here because Raven has you know, Crow and Yang tagged with her semblance. She could teleport and she to went Atlas back immediately. to see Ty. I mean, she's probably doing her own thing, being a garbage person or whatever. Oh, no. But if she's still hanging out with Ty and he said, I saw my daughter, I need you to go and check on her, please. I'm like, do me this one solid. You've been living here rent free for a while now. You've been living my mind rent free for way too long. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, I'm here kidding. on my couch. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Like, we do know that at some point she went to go visit him. We do know that the broadcast was global, and, you know, there's no fucking way they didn't get it. Yeah. So, yeah, um, like, it is entirely possible that we get Raven showing the fuck up, because she can. It is also entirely possible that we get some form of reinforcements or someone else because of Raven. Yeah. Because like, her power can, does enable. I can totally see Tai Yang rounding up a bunch of the Vale, uh, like, staff members and faculty because they're all buddies. Um, and then looking at his ex and being like, you owe me one. And she's like, fine. <laughs> if this means I'm not, I'm going to hear, I'm going to stop hearing about this. Fine. fine. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. All of you count as one. <laughs> You are all part of his one. You do not individually each get one. She opens up 
She opens up a gate and we get to see a lot of veil people that we haven't seen. <laughs> we get some in end of end game moment. <laughs> yeah. On your left. <laughs> That would be kind of cool. That would be amazing. That would be kind of cool. Oh my god. I'm not saying it's going to happen because Raven is a garbage person. Oh yeah. And Ty Yang mean, would have to twist her arm re- like, metaphorically speaking. Off. <laughs> yeah, metaphorically speaking, you'd have to really twist her arm to get her to agree to it. I mean, but. technically it would also be a way to get Pietro and Maria back into things using that power. But again, like I that's mean, gonna happen. They're just- they're not out of the equation, they're just- in Amity, last time we checked them. Yeah, um, Amity also crashed. I mean, they're fine. Like, yeah, they're fine, <laughs> but they are, like, out in the tundra somewhere. They have been removed yeah, from this sequence ship. of They're events. fine. Do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. How else would they have gotten there? Penny didn't fly them up. That's a good point. Do they still have the ship? I don't, I don't think know. so. Point being, they are removed from these, and I would not be surprised to see, like, a last-minute save. Especially since we're yeah. going to need Pietro to uh, anti fix that. <laughs> fix that malware problem. Kaspersky time, let's go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and scanning. Like, oh scanning. my god. Why? Why? Yeah, so I would not be surprised for them to pull a last minute save, especially Maria being Maria. Like, yeah. I love her and I yep. miss her. She's been gone for too long. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't have been that long if it, it hadn't been for the hiatus. She's been too long. She's been gone for too long in this show. Full stop. No, I'm saying it wouldn't have been as long if it wasn't for the hiatus. Yes, but even <laughs> if we hadn't had the hiatus, it would still be too long. Yes, I've been off stage for far too long. <laughs> the divas uh. will Um But no, uh, I, I agree. It's been a while since we've seen them. Uh, it would be nice to, to check back in with them, see how they're doing. Please give me these humans. I miss them. They're good. That's, I mean, one of, it's both uh, the blessing and the curse of having a large ensemble yeah. cast where it's like all of these characters are really great. I want more time with all of them. There's only so much time to go around. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I'll just have to go back and rewatch the parts that they're in because I like them. But, um... Anyway, I not the girl. <laughs> this <laughs> this was so good. Mm -hmm. I'm very much looking forward to the podcast where we get to talk about it with everybody, and I'm very much looking forward to the next episode. So, well done, Kruby. I can't this wait. Show is going to continue to hurt me. Yay! And I <laughs> <laughs> didn't even get to do the follow up. Just full on Kermit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this show hurts me. Yay! <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Just, 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 just go. Just. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mangwa. That's T H E M E N G U R N. Um, I, have a, I have a YouTube channel called Silver Screams where we talk about horror things on occasion. Um, Willy's Wonderland is still the most recent thing up. We talked about that for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I um, talked about that for most of that hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, no Katie shit. talked about it for an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I talked about it for 10. Because you're like, I liked it too. And it's my channel. <laughs> um, and uh, we're, we're both members of Rooster Team Radio. Uh, so we'll, we'll be doing a podcast on this episode soon. And uh, I'm, also, uh, I'm also a co-host on a Lost Retrospective podcast where my co-host Will Link loves Lost and I don't. And we talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. I know. I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias and on Twitch at Kiaxe. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. I'm also on an Overwatch and Overwatch League podcast called On The Point. It's on hiatus because the season's on hiatus. Excuse are you okay? Me. Yes. <laughs> we are talking about coming back. I just knew that was coming and I was hoping it would come while you were doing yours. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is how you know I do minimal editing on these. <laughs> We're bringing on the point back when the season starts again. We will probably do it before season starts, so around April, start watching out for that. Gonna be fun. Yes, definitely check out Rooster Team Radio. It's on all of your podcast services of choice, and also on Anchor, which is where we live. We have a T Public. We have a Discord. It's all sorts of super fun shit, and we talk about this and other Rooster Teeth things. And we just we have way too much fun, you guys. 
We have way too much fun. So if you would like to hear us when we have a chance to watch this episode more than once, formulate some thoughts, and then still go completely off the rails, <laughs> check that out. Uh, you know that's what we do. Yep. You know that's that's accurate. Uh, it's a good time. True and accurate recollection. Um, yes. If you would like to support this channel, first of all, please do not feel obligated. We are both still working our day jobs and we're working from home and we're all that fun stuff, so we are fine. But if you would like to support this channel, we have a Patreon which gets you all of our Rooster Teeth stuff early. So if you're looking at these comments and going, how did you comment on this a week ago? It's been up for three hours. Patrons! <laughs> Patrons good. Uh, yeah, the Patreon gets you all of our Rooster Teeth content early. Uh, we have a Kofi if you want to throw a couple bucks our way. We take commissions, not requests, commissions. And supporting our sponsor supports us. So head to fredhebakes.com, use coupon code KEOCOOKIES for 20% off your entire order. All of that information is down there. Along with all the nice little buttons you should hit to let the YouTube algorithm know that you like us for some <laughs> reason. Hey, you're still here and we're over an hour. You, oh I guess if you do like Please, us. We have to wrap up. <laughs> I told you. It's been too I long. told you. Please. <laughs> We started, Set me free! we started with 55 minutes of free footage and both of us went, yeah, we should free up some, we should free up some time. We're going to go over an hour easy. Thanks, oh. Ruby. <laughs> you did this to us. Let, Let us out! <laughs> and as always, we end with the important things. We're in a fucking pandemic, goddammit, wear a mask. I don't care if there's a mask mandate in your state or not. We're still in a pandemic. And wearing the mask protects other people a lot, and you a little bit, and you cannot guarantee that other people will be masked up, so you should be masked up just to kind of cover all your bases, and just because it's a basic act of compassion. Everyone needs to keep wearing their masks or start wearing their masks so that we can stop doing this portion of our sign-off. Yeah, Please. well, there are some portions of the sign-off that are oh, here to stay. I said this portion. Oh, of the mask <laughs> portion, yes. Yes. <laughs> there are some portions of this sign-off that will peter out as problems are hopefully solved, and there are some portions of this sign-off that will stay forever. It will not it. go away. No. Yes. So, anytime you go outside your door, don't care if it's to walk the dog or check the mail, wear a mask. Full stop. It's an act of compassion, and I like to think that you all are capable of basic-ass human compassion. So wear a mask. Uh, support your essential workers. They do not get the choice to stay at home, and they are dealing with all of you kind, lovely people, and also people who go out and choose to be assholes. So be kind to them, because the fewer assholes they have to deal with, the better things are for them, and they don't really get a choice. So, you know, support them, be kind, be patient. This also includes your postal workers. Support the post office, because it's still suffering some fuckery. So buy stamps, support the post office, be patient, be kind. Here's one of those things that'll stay forever. Black Lives Matter. Black LGBTQIA lives matter, black trans lives matter, black lives matter, that has not changed, that will not change, like I said, sticking around forever. I know it's fucking March already, I almost said February, what is time? It's March <laughs> already, but still, thank you for voting. Like, voting good. Thank you. thank you for voting. Remember to get involved in your local elections. Remember to vote in your local elections, even if it's just for the school board. Guys, all of that makes a difference, and it trickles up. You get people you like in your local, and then they run for state, and then they run for federal, and then they run for president. And, and on then, and on it goes. And then the person you voted for gets elected VP, and you're like, holy shit. So yeah, get involved in your local elections, and also contact your Congress people. If you like what they're doing, tell them you like what they're doing. Be specific, and say thank you, and continue. If you don't like what they're doing, be specific, and tell them that you don't like what they're doing, and tell them what you would like them to do instead. They represent you. So make sure that they know what you want. And if you don't like doing phone calls, that's fine. You can text, you can email, it's all 100% valid. Just contact your Congress people, make sure they know, vote in your local elections, wear a mask, <laughs> and take care of each other. That is the only way we're gonna get through this. Basic human compassion and taking care of each other. Remember that we love you. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. When we spend yet another hour <laughs> screaming into the void.
outside! I'm sure the neighbors are fucking thrilled.